somewhere than where it went. Okay, next movie. And our next movie is one of the most talked about films of the last three months, ever since it started getting standing ovations at film festivals in Colorado, Toronto, New York, and Chicago. Audiences go crazy for it, and now it's going as a national release. It's called Roger and Me, and all I can say is, if Woody Allen made documentaries, they might look a little bit like this one. The movie was directed by Michael Moore, a muckraking journalist from Flint, Michigan, who got mad when General Motors laid off 30,000 workers there. The Roger in the title is Roger Smith, the chairman of General Motors, and the movie is the hilarious history of Moore's attempts to interview Smith about the problems in Flint. You don't have an appointment, you're not going up to 14. Well, can we go up and try and make an appointment? No. Why? I need Tony Rodriguez. And the reason to talk to Roger Smith would be? Uh, Michael Moore. No, what's your reason for seeing Roger Smith? Excuse uh, me. We're doing, I need to see you. we're making a film. Oh. I quickly sized up the situation. Three guards in the booth, plus the one with a corsage. A dozen security cameras and four new cars with inflated sticker prices parked in the lobby. If I made a run for it up to Roger's office, what's the worst that could happen to me? As Flint sinks more deeply into poverty and unemployment, it makes an ill-advised attempt to turn itself into a tourist attraction. Jackie, what are some of the things that uh, visitors ask us here? That... First off, where is the bathroom? <laughs> That's the question I get asked most. Director Michael Moore is a born social satirist with an eye for the perfect detail. In this scene, the rich people in Flint throw a costume party while the poor people are hired as living sculptures for the party. So what advice do you have for those who are having a rough go of it? Get up in the morning and go do something. Start yourself. Get your own motor going. There's things to do out there. One of the stars of the movie is Deputy Sheriff Fred Ross, the man in charge of evicting unemployed GM workers. You better get clothes on when you to put you out. I've put out some of my best of friends, but nothing personal, you know. And that deputy sheriff is not a bad guy. He's just doing his job. He says, I like to treat people the way I'd like to be treated myself. Roger and Me is the right movie in the right place and the right time and with the right sense of humor. I think a lot of people are fed up with corporations that think only of profits and use a smokescreen of public relations to make their selfish decisions look beneficial for everyone. This movie convincingly shows that the firings by General Motors have devastated Flint, but what's amazing is that it's a funny movie. It's a comedy. Michael Moore uses every weapon in the book, satire, sarcasm, cheap shots, you name it, and he makes a great comic star for his own movie as he plods doggedly along wearing that hunting cap and on his mission to interview the elusive Roger Smith. This movie is so funny, it's merciless, and so merciless, it's funny. It's on my list of the year's 10 best films. Well, it'll be on mine, too. Uh, this is a great American comedy, and uh, made out of a tragic situation, which is all these people losing their jobs. And the film really swings wide in its emotional range from being hysterically funny to also really sad, because the first time, we've, we've had a lot of funny things happening, and you see you know, him making fun of some quote, hick kind of situations, mm -hmm. and then whammo, we start to look at Flint and being devastated, and he gives us a sort of a tracking shot going down the street, and it looks like it's bombed out, and we yeah. see the real devastation that the layoffs occurred, and so we're constantly being whipsawed between very funny things as this mm -hmm. town tries to recapture its sense of self, and also has been absolutely devastated, and so you've got the evil villain, Roger Smith, the General Motors, but you've also got a lot of side characters who are great American and who characters. are hilarious. I think Michael Moore is almost like a Mark Twain here in the fact that he kind of keeps a poker face and just reports on this stuff. For example, they pay Pat Boone a lot of money to come to Flint, right. Michigan and cheer everybody up. And Pat says, hey, everybody ought to become an Amway distributor. And so yeah. Michael Moore says, okay, I'm going to go to an Amway party. So he goes to an Amway party. And then the lady calls him back later, remember, and she had her wrong color coordinates, so she wants right. to shoot the scene again. So then Michael gets his color coordinates done. And it's just it's like the logic is hilarious as they go from one step to the other into this wonderland of fantasy that is tried is put on top of the fact that Flint is totally devastated by these plant closings. It's really weird how it's so funny. You said it. It's funny and it's sad and then it's funny again. Yeah, I think that people when they hear plant closing, General Motors and, and, and some uh, uh, executive, they think, oh, that's got to be boring. Mm -hmm. This is easily one of the most entertaining films of the year. I'll it's tell a you, superior it's film. the funniest film I've seen since A Fish Called Wanda. It's really good.